chicken and coffee and welcome to the replay. Guys, while I'm behind the scenes getting everything ready for your viewing pleasure of the upcoming project, here are some things that you can do. Number one, if you are not already following me on Facebook or YouTube or Instagram, be sure that you go ahead and you like my fan page on Facebook, that you follow my page on YouTube, and that you follow and make sure your notifications are turned on on all of those sites so that way you never miss an announcement that I have to make about products that could be coming out or when I'm getting ready to go live or if there's specials that I'll have going on where you'll want to go into my VIP group which brings me to that my VIP group link is right down below in the description of the video on both YouTube and Facebook if you're not already in there I would love it if you would go ahead and join my VIP group. It's a great place to be, you guys. Next thing I want to talk to you about is Club Couture. If you haven't already heard, Club Couture is the hottest DIY home subscription service out there, bringing DIY creativity to your door every single month. It's only $19.99 plus tax in the U.S. and $26.99 plus tax in Canada. And guess what? It's going to ship free to you every single month. What will ship free to you? Well, an exclusive size B transfer that only Chalk Couture designers and Club Couture customers can receive once they become a for a customer and three coordinating chalk paste singles. Don't worry about seeing the Club Couture transfer right now in this part of the video because I'll be showing you once we start the live. You will also gain access to my private Club Couture VIP group where I go and create three additional projects every single month without fail to give you the most bang for your buck with that Club Couture transfer. You'll also get bonus flat rate shipping. I'll go over that as well once we go into the project. But just know you're going to get bonus flat rate shipping of $4.95 in the U.S. and $9.95 in Canada. It's pretty awesome. You will also get access to exclusive offers and deals directly from Chalk Couture each month for being one of my Club Couture customers. Now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to be talking about the opportunity to go ahead and purchase your business in a box, launch your empire, and join my award-winning team. Stay tuned for that. So, Hope you're ready for the project that's about to come. Thanks for watching, guys, and thanks for joining me today. Hey, hey, happy Saturday and happy early morning chalking and coffee. I hope you guys are ready for a fun project today because I am doing some bacon. I'm making some puppy treats and I am making some human treats. So I felt like this project was only fitting. So let's talk the important things so we can get into the fun things. So first and foremost, let's talk about Club Couture. Club Couture is the hottest DIY home subscription out there, bringing DIY creativity to your door, as you heard me say in the video right before that. I also said I would show you what this month's current Club Couture transfer looks like, so that way you could see it. And I would I also told you I would talk to you about some of the reasons why you should join my Club Couture. Um, so number one, to get a catalog, you guys. Our catalogs are called idea books because they give you ideas. You could keep using these ideas, recycling them, even if you don't have this transfer, but maybe you have a similar one. You can get ideas from it. So uh, when you sign up for Club Couture, you'll get the current semi-annual catalog, which right now is our brand new spring-summer one. If you remain a current Club Couture customer when the autumn winter comes out, you will get that in July with your July Club Couture. You will also gain access into my private Club Couture VIP group where I will make three additional projects every single month without fail to give you the most bang for your buck with your Club Couture transfer every single month. You will love it. Additionally, you will get exclusive flat rate shipping on each and every order that you do. So no matter how big or small, no matter how many or how, how little you do every single month, in the U.S. you will receive flat rate shipping of $4.95 on all of those orders, being one of my Club Couture customers. And my Canadian customers are going to get flat rate shipping of $9.95 on all of your orders. And finally, you will get exclusive offers and deals directly from Chalk Couture for being one of my Club Couture customers. This month's is pretty awesome. 
For every $100 order that you do in my online store, you will save $10. You'll get $10 off. You could do one order this month. You can do four orders this month. Every order that hits $100 will get $10 off. So how great is that, you guys? Isn't that pretty awesome? So if you're ready to become a Club Couture customer of mine, and I'm going to give you a sneak peek of a project, but my Club Couture customers are going to get the video that I'll be uploading as soon as I'm done this video in my private Club Couture group to see how I did it, stay tuned. Um, because you're going to want to be a Club Couture customer. The link is in the description of this video on both YouTube and Facebook down below. Now, let's talk about my absolute favorite thing in the whole entire world and why April is the best time to join my award-winning team. Now, this is our brand new, new designer kit, aka Business in a Box. I call it a Business in a Box because every single thing you need to have to launch your empire can be found in this box. Now, April is the best time, and you want to know why? Because in your starter, starter kit this month, you're going to get a bonus item, and you have the ability to have more. What do you mean? What do I mean by more? Well, five people who join this month are going to get a certificate that says holla holla design a dollar and it's going to be a golden ticket for $100 of free product you get to choose so five designers and there's even a way for another five designers to win $100 in free product which I will tell you about in my opportunity group now this new designer kit is brand new, just launched April the 1st, and you're going to notice something. There are four transfers that are not shown in the spring-summer catalog, and that's because they're coming out in our summer celebrations release. Guys, it hasn't even been out. We cannot even get it as designers right now. Only new designers can get their hands on those four brand new transfers that you see right there. Now, this new designer kit is a small investment of $99 plus tax and shipping in the U.S., $127 plus tax and shipping in Canada. This box is going to come valued at $264.99 in the U.S., $349.99 in Canada. I don't know why I don't just write this down instead of fumbling for what edition is in the morning, but that's just beside the point. But anyway, this box is going to arrive on your doorstep once you join, and it's going to contain five three-ounce chalk paste, a small squeegee, an apron, a 12-pack of thank-you cards, a 12-pack of chocolable chips, a board and base, a 9x12 porcelain steel Ada magnetic chalkboard, the README, our gorgeous spring-summer catalog, seven silk screen adhesive back reusable transfers, as well as that Club Couture transfer. Remember, Club Couture is so exclusive, only Club Couture customers and designers can get their hands on it. Now, I know I just threw out a whole lot of info at you and you're probably like, Jess, you just word vomited all over me and I still have questions. Please don't worry. I have your answers. In the description of this video on YouTube and Facebook, you will see a link to my opportunity group. In my opportunity group, or when you click that link, I will see in my opportunity group that you requested to join. I'll go ahead and approve you, and I will tag you in my most recent opportunity call that will go over every single detail you need to know in order to make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team, you guys. I want you to be happy with your decision. And did I mention I've been challenged to get five new team members this month, so help me hit that goal. Alrighty, now here's a little something up on the screen for all my brand new friends who are just joining that are just learning about Chalk Couture while I say good morning to some friends. Hi, Missy White. Hey, Marlene. How are you? Hi, Kat. Hey, Shirley Hess. Hi, Amy Grossman. Hey, Lisa LeBlanc. So far, I'm having an amazing day. Hi, Debbie Green. Let's see uh, what happened here. Hi, Pam Crandall. How are you doing? Uh, do, 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 do. Um... Oh, gosh, why does it keep doing that? Sorry, guys, I'm trying to scroll down and I can't. My screen froze. Um, hi, Tony Gunter. Thank you for sprinkling Debbie Green. Hi, Diana McFadden. Everything is so good. Thank you so much. Everything is so, so good. Hi, Sudini. I can't wait to see you. I still have a transfer for you. And you can meet the puppies. Hi, Cheryl Shepard. Hi, Connie Riffle. How are you doing? Hi, Susie Fox. I love our puppy, too. Oh, he's such a slug, man. He got up at 7.20 this morning, like, because I kind of went up and was like, come on, let's go potty. And then went back up to bed. He is a slug. <laughs> Good morning, Lisa Batten. Thanks for sprinkling. Hi, Rebecca Baker. Good morning. Hi, Karen Bowden. Good morning. I already took my thyroid, so we're good. So, you guys, Good morning. 
So I hope you guys all had an awesome night. Let's see. Ray down of the day for early morning chocolate and coffee is killing it. And I spilled it coming down the steps. Don't mind me. Um, because I plan to kill my day. I have a lot planned and I already did a lot because I woke up at five o'clock in the morning. I don't know what is wrong with me. I used to laugh at my mom and I feel like this is karma coming back to bite me when like Saturday mornings and I would be rolling out of bed at two o'clock in the afternoon because you know, that's what you do when you're a teenager. And I'm like, where, where are you doing? You know, like, I'm so tired. My mom would be like, I've been up since five o'clock in the morning and I conquered the day and you're just getting up. And I remember being like, ew, I would die if I got up at five o'clock in the morning. And now I'm like, I actually am glad because it's quiet in the house. I get work done. Like I did so much work already. I even made, um, with all of you guys giving us so many recommendations, which thank you so, so much because obviously being new puppy owners, we don't know a lot of things. We went out, we talked to Petco and PetSmart or wherever we went to last night. I think it was Petco. We got some toys that have texture, um, which is what some of you guys had suggested Suggested and Petco confirmed. When they are teething, textured toys help. It also helps when you freeze them. Um, the gentleman at the, the young gentleman, who was probably old enough to be my child, um, and is their puppy trainer there, told me that um, some of the Kong toys that you fill with your own made ingredients... Um, like peanut butter and like you can make I Trader Joe's uh sells a puppy biscuit that you can create yourself and add your own ingredients so you know what's going into it. Um you can make your own little stuff. So that's what I did this morning. I got up and I made some little treats for them and I put it inside the Kong toy, filled it with all natural peanut butter and the little biscuit little biscuits that I made for him and I froze them. And he said you can do that and that really helps their teeth like imagine like a teething baby. So that's how I spent my morning. And I have pancake mix all mixed up and ready to rock and roll for little Bran. Um, one of my friends is a um, Pampered Chef uh, consultant. And I helped her with her business. And I got a little gadget in the mail that a little Bran, I ordered for little Bran for his birthday. I know it sounds silly, guys. But my kiddo is a foodie, even though there's only certain foods that he likes. So I got him the griddle and he's like, mom, will you make me pancakes today? So I got all the pancake mix all ready to rock and roll. So after we're all done doing our live, I got to go get him up so that way we can have breakfast. And then last night I left my debit card at the place that we picked up dinner. So I have to go pick my debit card up. And then I'm going to go make um, some fun little desserts to go along with my little board here that we're going to make. And that's my day. So I just talked for a bajillion hours and... <laughs> Now it's time to joke, you guys. But I want to show you my cute little project that I made. I told you Club Couture's, um, my Club Couture customers always get three additional projects. I still owe two projects for last month, but I did pick up the one thing and I planned to do that yesterday, but we had some little things happening, you know, where I couldn't exactly finish it up, but I'll get that done. The projects for this month are done. Um, I just have to stage the pictures and I just have to finish trimming the one video. Um, but I'm going to show you the, the what I made, but only my Club Couture customers will get the video on how it was done. So this is with this month's Club Couture. How flipping cute did my little birdhouse turn out with the little nest and they're sitting on it and their cute little hole. And look, there's a perch up there. How adorable. So Club Couture customers will see how that was done. If you want to see how that's done, you got to be one of my Club Couture customers and get in my private Club Couture group. So with that said, let's jump into my project for today. Let's see. Oh, I missed, I missed what you guys were saying. Good morning, Tom Hutton. How are you? Um, hi, Cynthia Thompson. He is growing. Yes, Debbie Green. Hi, Aileen. How is everything going? I am thinking of you and praying for you. Message me and let me know how everything's going. Hi, uh, Diana McFadden says she has Irish breakfast tea in my cup. I have got donut shop blend um, in my cup this morning. I'm holding it up to the camera like you guys can see. You can't because nobody needs to see my face. I'm not cra making crazy, crazy facial expressions this morning. Aw, thanks, Marlene. I have been up a while, Rebecca, for sure. I did. I did, Kat. <laughs> Starbucks and my redone patients. I think I need it today for sure. Aw, thanks, Marlene. I'm trying. <laughs> Aw, thanks, guys. Good morning, Gail Joyner. Would that work with a regular birdhouse, too? Uh, would that work with a regular birdhouse? Maybe. I would think so, Lisa. Maybe you could try it. Hi, Lisa Cowan. I don't know, Lisa LeBlanc. Maybe maybe we could try that. It, it probably would. It probably could. 
All right, you guys. So we are going to do, because like I told you, we are going to be making some desserts today. I got some cute uh, little donut homemaker things to make. Um, and I'm going to attempt to make them like um, apple cider donuts, uh, which I know is weird. It's like almost summertime, but we're cra I'm craving them. And I feel like if they're little donut holes, it's not so bad, right? All right. So what I'm doing is labeling the back of my carrier sheet first because once our transfers are all washed and done, we can, um, what, what, I mean, once we're done using our transfers, we can take them to the sink and wash them and let them dry over, uh, I let mine dry overnight. Uh, sticky side up, and then we can replace them onto the carrier sheet, okay? So um, that's why we want to label the back so we know which transfer it is since our transfers are reusable over and over and over again, okay? So I'm just going to quick cut these little donut shapes out. And we are good to go. And everything that I'm using, with the exception of the surface, because this is a found surface from my favorite store in the whole wide world. You guys know what that is. Just in case we have some newbies watching, if you will put it in the link in the comments on YouTube and Facebook for me, guys, that would be awesome. Um, and I'm going to actually take this off, too, because I want to make it more like a little charger, not a hanging sign, okay? Okay. I got a cute little itty bitty lazy Susan that I'll be putting it on as well. All right, so I'm going to put it right about there because I seriously want my donuts to go right in a row just like that. So this is where we're going to keep it. So let's keep this right here so I have a good judge of where it's going to go. I'm grab my fuzzing towel. Um, hi, Deb Arsenal. Hi, Cher. You're a Canadian designer. I've been, been watching your video channels while... Wait a second. Hold on. What did that say? Let me see. I've been binge watching your YouTube channel while homeschooling my kids. Thanks. Oh, you're so welcome, Cher. Thanks so much. Hi, Deb Arsenal. How are you? Thank you, Tony. I appreciate you. Hey, Susie. Watch out where Eddie hears his... Watch out where Eddie hears his Kong treats. Talking from experience, he can be very messy. Dogs love them, though. We have had everything from a Great Dane down to a canine. T oh, okay. Eats his, where he eats his Kong treats. Yes, yeah, Susie Fox. The guy told me you should tape the one side. I'm like, uh, how do I, the trainer, I was like, how do I tape it without him eating the tape? He's eating everything. Thank you, Lisa Batten. Thanks, Missy White. Thank you, Rebecca Baker. Yeah, I was, I was looking at that this morning when I was filling it up. I'm like, how the heck am I supposed to do this, you know? All righty. So we're going to slightly set that off so I know that it's going to start right there. There we go. So I know everything's going to fit if I start it right here, you guys. There we go. Life is short. Eat dessert first. Okay. So, is that a little wonky? It is a little wonky. Hold on. Because you know why? Because it's a little longer on this side than it is that side. So, hopefully that, that works out. Eh, it'll do. It'll do. It's fine. Okay. So, we're going to take our black velvet first. Okay, we're going to grab our squeegee. Oh gosh, can you tell I did not clean these well? My squeegee has got whatever shimmer color I use. I think that's the shimmer that we made the other night. Remember for our bacon? All right, so honestly, probably should have waxed this. I will not be surprised if this bleeds a little. And I... I did not even think about it honestly until I put until I just started to put the chalk down. And if it bleeds a little bit, it's fine. I don't mind it. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, did I really just do that? I just dipped my whole sleeve right into the chalk paste, you guys. Can't take me anywhere. Great. Good job, Jess. Okay, well, let's get this off first, and then we'll worry about my sleeve. Oh, nice. I uh, just bled a little, little bit on the R. Perfect. That looks great. All right, hold on, you guys. I gotta get the, I gotta get this off my sleeve so I don't put it into anything else. Hold on. Hopefully, this doesn't wreck my. Oh my God, that was a lot. Oh my goodness. Seriously. You guys, what is wrong with me? Probably just wrecked my whole sweater now. <laughs> goodness. That's what I get for trying to be ready for my day. You can dress me up, you can't take me out. All right, it's fine. Let's keep on going. So we got that part done. We can, we're done with black velvet now. Thanks a lot, black velvet. Okay, so now I've got my donut colors. So let's dry this. Let's see. Good morning, Mary Carol. Hi, Heidi. What the heck are you doing up so early, Heidi? It's like four o'clock in the morning there. Okay, we are nice and dry. Now, hi Gail Weiss, how are you? All right, so we got that part done. Now we gotta come back to our little donuts. And they are labeled, okay, <gasps> yikes, hold on. Yikes, yikes, yikes. They are labeled A1, A2, or B2, and B1, okay? So, we are going to get our cute little donuts out, down and our little sprinkles and icing. Okay. And we're going to get these going. One word, dogs. <laughs> oh, it's 530 there. Okay. So Heidi, we were up at the same time. Not be, I wasn't up because necessarily of the dogs. I was up, honestly, you want to know what woke me up, you guys? You guys are going to think I'm crazy. I had a bad dream about them. And that woke me up and I'm like, okay, that's just a sign to get up and start doing the things for his little teethies. Hi, Jeanette. I have to get motivated to move furniture today. Oh, have fun with that cat. Oh, gosh. That is not fun. Not fun. All right, so we're going to go in and we are going to do... Um, I'm going to put this down and I'm going to put this down and then I'm going to put, hopefully it's going to be enough room to do, oops, see it's not. All right. So I have to move that over a little bit. Life is short. Eat dessert. Jeez. I just put it in the exact same spot. If I put that one there, and I put this one here, and I should be able to put, yay, I can. Okay, so we're going to grab, now this is where I only put June on the, the 
in, uh, in my chalk site link. I'm thinking we may want to do some bark as well. Because let's be real, would we ever eat a donut that doesn't have a little bit of a crisp look to it? I need more Dune. I need to get one of my new creamy, dreamy Dunes out, not this Dune. Seriously. See my creamy, dreamy bark? Oh, yes. That's what we need. Already I'm liking the color of this donut. Already I'm liking this color better. That looks like a pastry. That looks like a donut color I would eat. Heck yes. Sign me up for this one. So my chalk site link does not have bark. I should have added it. I did not. So you're going to want to add more dune than bark, you guys. Okay. So let's add that in. Let's do these donut parts first. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna do. Wait a second. Okay, here's how I'm gonna do this. I got it. I'm gonna do. Abby, I'm going to do the sprinkles a different color. And I called them sprinkles because you guys, if I said Jimmy's, you probably would have no idea what I was talking about. So let's do, let's do some, what color is in stock? Papaya. We'll do papaya. We'll do papaya. Uh, or no, you know what? Let's do Lakeshore Jimmy's. Lakeshore. Lakeshore's in stock. I know this. Make sure that I get this really well because Lakeshore is also not, I'm not using my creamy, dreamy Lakeshore yet. Okay. Oh, that looks good. Okay. And then let's line this guy up again. And we'll get this over here. And let's, oopsie, he had a little more. This little guy was a little more cooked. Okay. Okay. Come back at more Lakeshore Jimmy's. I like just what the hay is a Jimmy. A Jimmy is a sprinkle, you guys. If you don't live in New Jersey, you may not know that. Okay. Wondering how I feel about this donut. I don't know how that's going to look. I don't know if I like this, this one here, guys. Let me see this. Hold on. One second. Uno momento. I don't think I'm going to do. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do this one. The more I look at it, I don't like this one. I want a full, I want full donuts here, friends. And I can't get this up. My fingernails are too thick for me to grab it. Oh, I like it. Yay! Okay. Let's get him. 
going again. And okay, I did way too much for that, and that's okay. I got to quick clean this though. Whoopsie. I got to quick clean this because the lake shore was a little extra heavy and it clogged because it was a little thick. So we got to quick clean it so that way we could put the sprinkles down again. Okay, I'm just cleaning it my quickie way. You guys know I don't like to clean the quickie way. I'd rather clean it at the sink with a board eraser. Hold on, and let me go back to comments and stuff. Sorry. Let's see. Totally could have staggered the donut, Sandy. You are correct, and I miss it. Hi, Sherry Prince. I live near Pittsburgh. You know what Jimmy's are. I love it. And Sandy, when I said your name, Siri thought I was talking about, about her. I'm from Maine. You know it. Love it, Missy. The one in the middle goes over the top of those. The one in the middle goes over top of those. Ew, that makes more sense. Okay, thank you. Um, yes, you used to call them because you were from the East Coast, Heidi. I was just going to ask what the heck a Jimmy is. Yeah, Sherry Burns, there you go. It's a West PA thing too. Nice. Is a full donut overlaid out? That's what I was thinking, but it's like, it doesn't make sense. It didn't make sense because it's a B, B1 is what it says. So I'm like, um, yeah, no, it, it's, it's not numbered right. Okay. So where's the, here it is. I was like, wait, where did it go? Okay. So this is nice and dry. Let's come back in, lay it over where it should be and get our little jimmies done. Oh, that's way too much paste, just, but that's okay. I'm just going to quick pull it over. And we're going to pull this back over on this side because I'll do not like how it did these ones. There we go. We're going to redo them. Much better. Okay. So we got that done. Now let's get some icing up on these. Ooh, I can't wait. They're going to be so cute. Ready? We're going to do some. Oh, wait. We got to dry them first. What am I doing? Let's dry our cute little donuts. Hey, Heidi, how are you? No, it's not, Tony. It's not the right right number. Oh, Puppy's trying to watch with you. That's so cute, Lisa. You were just talking about Jimmy's last night. That's so funny, Heidi. You call them Jimmy's there too, Cat? Yay, Heidi. I have a bunch coming on Monday. I have a huge order. Huge combined order coming. You guys, they are catching up big time on orders. They were on the 26th, was it yesterday of March? They were flying through orders, you guys, like legit. And gosh, this chalk paste is amazing. So, so good. I feel like I need to be making more. You know what we should do? Do you guys still have time to hang with me? You know what we should do? We should make some pillows, some donut pillows. Do I have? I do. I'll have some fabric. Let's make a donut pillow or two. We're going to do that when I'm done with these because I don't want to waste that paste. So we're going to make like a donut pillow or two, guys. Did I dry these? Yes, I did. Okay. Ready? Okie dokie. All right, so let's do our first one in guava. Ooh, guava. Ooh, guava. 
Ooh, guava, you're nice and creamy. Oh boy, you are super sticky. Please don't mess up. <gasps> that donut looks so good. It did kind of take up a little bit of my jimmies, but guess what? That donut is on point, you guys. And you know what? I should have probably thought this through a little better. Hold on. Because I'm going to have to stop to clean this each time. And that's okay. It really is. It's fine. Let's do, let's do a shimmer gold. How about we do like a shimmer gold one? Make it like summer donuts, guys, at the beach. That's fun, right? And hopefully, because the shimmer gold is such a lighter color than the couture teal, oh yeah, that looks great. We should be able to come right over with the couture teal. We should be able to at least. Hopefully it'll work. If not, I can just take it off and redo it. I'm not worried. Oh, I can't wait to go make my little donut holes and put them around this. It's going to be so cute. That looks like a beach donut. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's my little board. Now we need some little donuts, some little donut pillows. Let's do, oh, don't fall down, you. Let's make some donut pillows. Okay, where's the donut? Hold on, gotta clean it real quick. I'm not gonna use Lake Shore on it though. I think what I'll do is I'm just going to do a couture or a guava and a couture teal. So I'll do the jimmies and the shimmer gold. Okay. How's that sound? Oh, you guys, I think it's going to be so cute. Hey, Trish, you get me, girlfriend. They are jimmies. Hi, Teresa Long. Did you mix make the donuts? I mixed Bark and June to make the donuts inspired beautiful creations. I did see the poster hangers in the bullseye. Yes, Heidi. The tracker said my order would come today, but I got home to my surprise yesterday. Yay, Mary Carol, that's so awesome. I'm so excited. I was hoping mine that's due to come Monday would be today, but womp womp. It's waiting for speckle for my walls. It's lost in USPS somewhere. Wow, that stinks. Sorry, cat. Oh, Heidi. Yes, girl. Yes, Heidi. Yes, yes, yes. Love that. I like vanilla with chocolate jimmies. That's my actual, actually my ultimate fave. Or vanilla with rainbow jimmies. And when I'm feeling experimental... From Dairy Queen, a Snickers blizzard with chocolate jimmies thrown in there. Yeah, that's right. I said it. That's right. I said it. <laughs> oh, gosh. You guys, can you tell I've been up for forever? All right. So let's make our little donuts. All right. So wait, if that goes there. So I have enough room. I have enough room to make two little donuts. Yeah, because I don't want to. I don't want to miss out on the fabric. I like missing this color. You know what I mean? Like, and I don't have any of those little thingies available right at this moment in time. Remember all that pace I wasted the other night from making the bacon? Why did I not think to make bacon pillows, you guys? Why didn't anybody tell me that? Make some bacon pillows, Jess. 
It'll be okay. Nobody said that. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Let's move this guy over. You know what? We'll try and do three pillows. We could try to do three little pillows here. Oh, shoot. I just... Well, I messed up a little. It's fine. No biggie. No biggie. No biggie. No biggie. Oh, my God. I have so much left. We need to do many pillows. You guys, these little pillows would be so cute if you made like a little donut hole bar, like make plain donut holes and then have like a little donut hole bar to go along with it. How flippin' cute would that be? Right? Tell me it wouldn't be. Go on. Tell me it wouldn't be cute. I dare ya. I dare ya. Because you can't. Oh, shoot. I forgot to do the jimmies on this guy. The second one. That's all right. It's all right. Oi, he's lifting. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Okay. Jimmy's are clogged. Little Jimmy's are clogged, you guys. Hold on. Thank you, Pam. Hey, Danielle. Uh, it's been, well, to be honest with you, Danielle, I haven't been there in about three weeks. My Mads has been there. Um, I've been home with Little Brand. Um, and now with the puppy, you know, life situations. So, I don't know how it's been. I'm sure it's probably been dead. Because after Christmas, it's been, it went dead. Um, so, yeah, probably. Yes. <laughs> uh, you can't tell me it wouldn't be cute because it is so cute, right? Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Hold on. Let me get this down again. There's the silver. I mean, silver. I meant gold. I don't know why I said silver. That was random. Should I make one more? I think I have enough room to make one more, guys. I probably do. Little. No, we'll do three. I don't want to push it because I want to have enough fabric to be able to make it all. Him in there. We need to pull this out. Okay. Hold on. Okay, let's dry this up. Did you guys even see me doing this? Good lord, I just realized the camera was off. Me too, Danielle. Me too. Hopefully it will. Once I can get back there and get classes going again. I also had to wait a while for my stuff to ship. So, and it's fine. I understand it. No big deal. It's totally fine. 
You're in another lockdown, so not going anytime. Diana, are you in are you in Canada? You're in Canada, right, Diana? Are you in Ontario? Did I did I know that you were in Canada? Did I see your comment, Carolyn? Ooh, let me see. That would be too cute. Let me see. Carolyn, Carolyn. Let me scroll back. Carolyn, I must have missed it, but what I don't see it now. I see that you said it would be too cute. Carolyn, I must have missed yours. Will you comment in again? I don't see it. You're in Ontario. Okay, Diana. I feel like I knew that, but I didn't know it. Does that make sense? I feel like I knew it, but I didn't. All right, so let's do two guava and one couture teal. How's that sound? Because I really like the guava ones. We'll do two guava and one couture teal. Hey, babe, is the pup up yet? He might be upstairs with them. Oh, that looks good. Hey, babe, yeah. is the puppy up yet? No. Oh, my gosh. Go check on him. Just make sure he's okay. You know I worry. That little slug puppy. Little slug. Oh my goodness, so cute. Even though I did not line that one up good at all, it's still adorable. And I'm not mad at it. <laughs> okay, now let's get this one done. Now you want donuts. <laughs> oh, you're in Windsor, Ontario, Jess? Oh, I'm still afraid to try the pillows. Don't be afraid, Pam. Don't be afraid at all. Um, let's see. I think a coffee and donut to your tray. Yes, Sherry Prince. I think you know where I'm going. Um, hi, Jean. Hugs, girlfriend. Alberta lockdown, but Ontario is full lockdown. Yikes. Would be Sherry, yes. Jeanette Holmes, yep. Me too in Windsor, Ontario. We have 10 person maximum still for gatherings. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bright white would look cute too on the canvas. Yes, it sure would, Mary Carol. You're absolutely right. I'm so fire. I am too, Tony. Say it again for them. Say it louder for those in the back. Love this transfer. As a kid, we were told the opposite. Eat your meal first, then dessert. Maybe this is why I love it. Yes. Transfer donuts are a huge seller for me. There you go, Diana. The same. It's been too long. I'm French. We eat dessert first. There you go, Kat. There you go. Oh, my gosh. You guys, Bran just sent me a picture of the pups. And he said he's being a slug. He's still in his little cage that we that he likes to be in at night. I guess maybe he finds it comforting. He sleeps in it. Um, he is a little slug, man. He is a little slug. Okay. All righty. We are officially done chalking everything let's cover up oh let's cover up all our jars mm. hold on Alrighty, 
then we're gonna go ahead and get these dried and cut and stuffed. Then we're gonna be all done. Okay, we got a big mess to clean up and that's all right. That is a-okay, you guys. Oh, look at them. They're perfect though. They are perfect. Okay, let's get them dried. Now guys, pillows, you can stuff with one of two things. Either actual pillow stuffing. <gasps> Hi, my puppies. You want to come see the mommies? Come here. Want to come see hi to the ladies? Hi, the little babies. You miss the mamas? Come here. You want to say hi, ladies? Hello, the babies. Hello, the babies. Don't scratch my face, Ellie. Say hi, ladies. Mm -hmm. Mommy missed you. I missed you, babies. Say hi, girls. The Say hi, girls. I'm a slug puppies. Oh, the puppies. Oh, the babies. I love you. Oh, my babies. Say hi, guys. Oh, look at them. Just look at that sweet face. Hmm. Let's see, Daddy. Take them O U T A S A P. Yeah. Hi, buds. Hi, yo, mommy's little babies. Okay, you go. You're good with Daddy. Yeah. Come on. Go with Dada's. Oh, you guys, my baby, he's up. Uh -huh. Dad, buddy. Are you going to go lay down again? <laughs> Little slug pups. Okay, go see Brandon. Go ahead, buddy. <laughs> Okay, go with daddy. There he goes. Aww. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I had to get my snuggles in as I'm talking about them being a, uh, I want you to call it. Yes, Deborah Mae Jones. He loves to sleep in it. He just loves to sleep in it. Like, we keep the door open. Um, he goes in and out of it. It's so funny. And we've got comfy puppy beds in like almost every room. <laughs> because, you know, that's how we roll. And uh, it's just so funny. Only oh, the little puppies. He made my morning. Um, let's see. 3,800 cases in Ontario. Oh, gosh. Oh, you guys are awesome. Thanks for saying hi to my babies. I know his face is so, it's so cute. It's a little cute face. Oh, I just went to squeeze it like that. <laughs> Oh, you guys, I love him. I need a drink now because he slobbered all over my face. Mm. My little buddies, but he has to go potties. So, all right, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to fold this, I think. I'm going to cut like this. So we got this one. We've got... This one, oops, hold on. Let's get my glue gun plugged in. Okay. Uh oh, hopefully I left enough room. And then this one's going to need extra room. One, two, and then this one, get a little bit extra. Okay, now I always save my excess, guys, because you never know what you could use it for. Okay, these are itty bitty bitty bitty. Now I don't have my cotton balls handy, but I do have some pillow stuffing. So I'm gonna just grab some of that. Literally will need hardly any, ouch. Okay, so let's see. Oh, that's perfect. We have plenty of room there. And this one definitely I made way too big. We can cut around that. And then same with this one. I made a little 
too big as well, we can cut around that. Okay, so as soon as the hot glue gun goes, we can cut these guys out, okay? I should have turned that on and I didn't, but that's fine. That's fine. I'm going to show you what to do. And that is even way too much stuffing. Aw, oh, thanks, Amy. Oh my gosh, Kat. <laughs> My name is Day watching you makes me feel so much. Oh, Lisa, you were, Lisa, I love you. You're so sweet. Um, oh, Dion, you want to know how we we picked his name? We didn't pick it, Little Brand did. And remember how I told you guys that Little Brand would have been the perfect child to be born in the 80s because he loves all old 80s and early 90s shows. Um, even 70s shows for that matter. Do you remember the show um, Frasier? If you remember what Frasier's dog is, Frazier's dog's name was, that was Eddie, and that's what Bran wanted. He wanted his name to be Eddie. And who was it that just said the other day, oh, are you going to call him Eddie Spaghetti because he has worms? And he doesn't have worms anymore. He had worms when he was with the foster parents. So that is how we got it. It's a protective den. Oh, okay, Lisa. Got it. Got it. Got it. What is with me? Catching end of these. Sent you a message. Okay, Burn. You sent me a message. Got it. Hold on. I'm just waiting for my glue gun to get hot here. Let me see the message. I just started watching. Oh, no, Burn. I will be washing them. That's why I got those pillows. Because the uh, inhale, exhale. Because this is now that we have the dog, I definitely will be washing a lot more things. Like. I already have to wash like almost all of my Ray Dunn blankets because he likes to be up on the couch and when he sleeps on there, you know, I love my puppies, but he's even, no matter how many times we bathe him, which we can't bathe him too, too much because it dries out his skin, the vet said, and it's not good for them to be bathed that much. I don't like the smell of dog. <laughs> I don't. Um, so I'm washing everything um, to get that smell out. We have a cute little puppy spray for him. That is safe for sensitive skin like he has, but even still, so I will be washing everything, tons of things. So definitely I'll be using um, that. Yes. All right. Too funny. I know. Right, Mary? There you go, Dion. Yep. That's it. Too funny. Right, Trish? I know. Okay. Glue gun is heated up. We've got our glue string uh, fall in. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to come in. And we are going to decide where we want to cut so that way we can stuff. And we are going to cut like this. And this is seriously, you guys, these are going to be little itty bitty pillows. I don't want them to be huge. I just want them to be itty itty bitty. And they'll be cute. And it's okay if they're a little wonky. I don't mind. And like I that's why I said, like, this is way too much, way too much stuffing. So here's how I'm going to do this. Oops. Hold on, guys. Here we go. Okay. So I'm going to come in. It's a hard glue. Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! There we go. Oh, I hope I have enough to do all three of these because guess what? I'm running out of glue already. They're a little wonky. Eh. Oh, the glue is not hot enough, guys. Hold on. Hold on. Where is my fabric tack? I might have to use that instead. I don't know where my fabric tack is, you guys. Off the top of my head. Hold on. The hot glue actually does hold it really well, and it's the Sherbonder one, but you need to let your hot glue gun get hot. And I did not. So let's try now. Did a little bit at a time. There we go. Perfecto. 
Yes. You know who said about Eddie Spaghetti having worms? That was that was Burn. Yes, you said it to me the other day. Is that why you named him Eddie Spaghetti? Wired haired pointing griffon. Oh nice. Really, Mary? Oh my gosh. How about that? Yeah, he he smells like dog. He definitely does. And we he hard we don't let him like in the rain, like, he doesn't... Keep in mind, too, you guys, like, we don't let him go out just to go out. Like, he goes out with a purpose. It is out to go potty because we're potty training right now. Um, he can't go out on walks yet until he has all of his, his shots. So, he goes out with a purpose. So, it's not like he has... Um... Like, we, t we leave him outside to roll in the mud. We p wipe his little puppy paws every time he comes in. That's what we do. We call it, we say, wipe the puppy paws. And he knows. He sits so pretty for it. He's such a good boy. He really is. Even Brand's therapist, when he came over yesterday, he's like, wow, he's a really good little boy. We are like, we know. We're blessed. We are uber blessed. And he agreed that Bran is like a different kid. He's like, wow, from when he first met him just a few weeks ago, he already said he can't believe the difference in little Bran. He already said it. Okay, so here's our little pocket pillow. And you could shape these better. I was just trying to do this like super quickly. Obviously, I will be distressing them. You guys, I was looking for my ink to distress yesterday. Um, I cannot find it. I don't know what I did with it. Um, clearly, I moved, I cleaned it up to get it out of the way for the puppy because, you know, didn't want puppy paws to get into it. And now I have no idea where I moved it to. All right, this one I'm going to cut a little bit closer. See, a little bit better with it. Okay, there we go. See how easy this is, you guys? Just take your time. Just go right along the edge. Don't squeeze to the inside. Squeeze to the outside because you obviously don't want to get glue on the inside of the pillow because if you do, what's going to happen? You're going to glue your pillow shut, right? You won't be able to stuff it. So you want to squeeze to the outside. And I always save the tippy top for last. Always do the top for last so that way you have a you have a nice little area to, to stuff. Yeah. Oh, we're out of them. I, I forgot to bring more up. Hold on. You guys, hold on one second. Speaking of puppy paws, one second. Hold on, babe. Here I come. I'll throw them to the top of the steps. Here. Sorry, guys. Okay. All right. So now I left my little pockets of stuff. Oh, oh is he not saying nice for daddies? He always sits nice for me to clean his puppy. Oh my gosh, my little donut pillows are so cute. Look at them. Okay. Oh, that would be my finger. And that glue's super hot. Ow. 
much. Hold on. Oh gosh, that's hot. How precious. Okay, let's do our last one. Okay. I like them tinier, not as big as the first one I made. They're just cuter. They really are. Okay. Finishing up the last one. You guys, they're so cute. Look at them. Just, uh-oh, I glued that one down. Not smart, Houston. Heidi gives Brand a purpose, something to think about. Yes, Debbie Green, you're right. What kind of dog do I have? We have a, um, he is a blue healer, Makeba. Yes, Mary Spinelli, you were right. And yes, Jane, girl, you know it. You know it. You know it. He is our little, he is our healer. He is our puppy healer, man. Our sweet little puppy healer. Gosh, we're so lucky to have him. Okay. Oh. Okay. There's that. Let's make this pocket a little bit smaller. That was a little bit of a big pocket to have. Just a little big. Just a smidge big. All right, now I'm stuffing this guy. And guys, and then we're going to be done. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. See, I told you this was way too much. That was way too much what I pulled out. Way too much. That is all right. Oh my goodness, you guys, you totally need this transfer. If you do not have it yet in your possession, the cart link is in the description of this video on Facebook and YouTube. The only thing that is not in the cart link was the bark. That was my last minute decision to add that to help make the donut be the perfect color. Okay? Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look how cute that turned out. Oh my goodness. I love it. Hold on, let me get, I'm going to make sure that I have this stuff away where the puppy can't get to. Hold on. There we go. You guys, is that not the most precious thing in the whole wide world? I love it. I love it. What do you think? Life is short. Eat dessert first. Now, like I said, I would definitely be distressing these if I knew where my distress ink was. I may have to grab some more because clearly did something to it. I've got plenty of daubers. Go figure. No idea where the... I could have sworn I put the ink out. Oh, I found it. I did find it. Hold on. It was hidden. So we wouldn't get... Just because you see how tiny they are, I just worry. We just worry. Okay. Uh, these daubers are cheap. I'm not entirely sure where the heck I got these ones from. Okay. Oh my gosh, I love it! You guys, you've got to make these. This will be perfect in a little, exactly, exactly, exactly. Who was the one? Was it Diana that said a tear tray, a coffee themed tear tray? Yeah, a coffee breakfast dessert type themed tear tray. Yes. Yes, please. I love distressing the pillows. It just gives it that little something extra. You see? They're a little bit dingy and dirty. I love that. 
There we go. Now I'll just keep these on my desk so I don't lose them. But look. Oh my God, there's so many glue things hanging from my fingernails, you guys. I gotta clean my hands good before I touch the pups. Look at that. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. What do you guys think? Do you love it? Oh, yes. Our fur babies sure are. Sure, sure, sure. Um, wonderful. You're not kidding. Oh, thanks, Sherry Prince. So that's it, you guys. I'll, have to, I'll be taking a picture later. Or obviously, I purposely made this project to stage my fun little... Uh, desserts that I'll have later. Um, dude, I love these. They turned out so flippy cute. <laughs> I love them. If you want to get these, this, pro these items and more, the cart link is in the description of this video on YouTube and Facebook. Um, I hope you love it. I definitely love it. I'm obsessed. Um, I hope you guys have an awesome Saturday. I'm going to go up and make breakfast for my boys now. Go hang out with the puppies. Um, and yeah, I think that's it, but I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Remember, if you're interested in joining me, joining my award-winning team, joining during April to get some free, um, to get a bonus item in your kit and to have the ability to get a golden ticket, please request to join my opportunity group. If you are interested in getting the items that I showed you, cart link is in the description. If you are interested in getting being a part of the hottest DIY home subscription service out there, Club Couture, the link to join that as well. Um, I just hope you guys have a great day. I'm so glad that you joined me. I'll see you tomorrow. It is likely going to be another early morning chocolate and coffee on Sunday um, because I do things unless it rains. Um, so there is that. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you all later. Bye guys.